So, yo, um, so now I'm going to show the how to how to calibrate um, the ESC and how to set endpoints for throttle and braking in reverse. So, as requested by a, by a, by someone on YouTube who commented on my previous videos. So I'm gonna show it how, how it's done. So it's actually based on uh, on, the, on the ESC instructions. So I have here the, the Habu, Habu Wing, um, Hobby Wing Max 6 ESC with 160 amps and, and capable of 8S lipos or around 30 volts 30 volts of battery power so here this manual this is the manual here um, so this is the easy run user manual and on the second page or around the third page just open it and you'll find this how to calibrate the ESC um, to set endpoints so firstly you have to turn on the transmitter which is the Dumbo RC and set your set your dials here so I have mine on 100% power throttle power and this is the mini dial so I'm gonna set it to zero I don't know if you can see it you can set it to zero as new neutral that's for the throttle. Do not touch this left side here. They are for the steering. So we, we, we focus on the right side, which is the throttling. So it's on zero and 100% power. So I'm turning this on now. You can see a blue light there. And connect the ESC to the battery. So currently I'm just using my 3S. This is only for calibration anyway. Uh, this is the switch. Now, um, according to the instruction, press and hold the set button. So we have the small button here. The, this is the blue one is the big button or the power and the small one is the settings or the set button. So press and hold the set button, then press the on off button. So while pressing this small button, hold it and turn on or let's say okay so we're gonna do it again but this one this time let's do it quick so release the button once the LED LED flashes so only one flash from the light here we're going to release all the buttons okay let's do it okay hold hold the small button I'm holding it now press it okay so I don't know if you saw it so again I'm I'm holding the small button here with my middle finger and pressing the power button with my index finger once you see it flash release it right away so that's the time that it's detecting the settings now the first mode just let it blink like that it just blinks until you do something so the first is to move the throttle trigger to neutral position and press the set button so it's actually uh, trying to imply or let's say it says that you just set the neutral button which is or let's say like this don't touch it do not do not uh, do not touch it while it's calibrating the neutral so that blinking sound there means it's detecting the throttle's neutral position so the neutral oh that's the neutral oh okay so 
this time press the set button oh good there's one there so step one the neutral position was set now we're in the step two the step two is move this move the throttle trigger to end position of forward and press the set button so for this thing uh, I'm going to need two hands I'm just gonna put put this thing down here okay so this time I'm going to set the the forward button or the go button so how do you want your forward to be do you want to be like this or do you want it to be like this well of course um, normally we do the forward uh, forward command like this so the ESC is asking is that your forward then you say yes then press set okay it's set now so you will hear two beeps that means it's set now the third step is this one move the throttle trigger to the end position of backward and press the set button so it's asking you which way do you want the backwards button to be or let's say what's your command for for the car to go in reverse or to go in backwards uh, direction so I'm gonna need two hands again for that so it's asking my thumb is on the set button here I'm not pressing it yet so it's asking um, what's your reverse uh, position there so I want my reverse to be like this okay are you okay with that there so just press the set button so you will hear the confirmation there with three beeps followed by another three beeps uh, which means you can turn off the ESC uh, which means it is already set so after that the green LED flashes three times and the motor emits beep 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 tone oh well that's a nice explanation okay After all those stuff, turn it off and you will test it, turn it on again. So those three beeps are from the three cells or let's say I'm using a three cell battery or three S batteries. So I'm going to check now my throttle so you will see it. So that's my forward. break now my backward is and that's my neutral position so as in neutral you don't do anything so you don't do, you don't pull the trigger the wheels won't spin you pull the trigger the wheels the wheels will spin so this is forward forward this is forward well this is backward That's it. Oh, the dials here. So these two are for the throttle. It's the throttle trim. So you can, you can you can dial it towards right. So we'll keep on spinning forward. Now you can dial it towards towards the left. Oh there. Can dial towards the left it will keep when spinning and dial this towards the right towards the right so now um, regarding programming so 
it has plenty of options. First option is the running mode. So do you want your your controls to be just forward with brake or forward reverse with a uh, with brake? So this forward with brake has no um, has no reverse, while this forward reverse with brake uh, obviously has reverse. So the second option is enter the sec um, the lipo cells options. This one uh, is not really that useful. So you always put it on automatic calculations. So you won't be tackling this. It means that I think you're just limiting the the ESC capabilities. So if you want to limit it to only 6s, and you can you can you can choose this 6s. If you want to limit this to 4s, then you can choose this thing. But when we say automatic, it it detects uh, the number of cells that you put. I mean, you connect to the ESC. So I won't really tackle this. The third option is enter the item um, LVC or let's say low voltage cut or cutoff. So we have the options. Uh, it can be disabled. It can be automatic low, automatic intermediate, and automatic high. So what's low low voltage cutoff? So when the ESC detects that one cell of or any any of the cell in the battery pack is going lower than the set voltage uh, that's normally lower than the 3.7 volts I think so it automatically cuts off so the ESC shuts down when it detects that the voltage of the battery is much lower uh, than the setting so um, the purpose of this is just to protect the battery because if you deplete the battery cell, it will be damaged permanently, or the worst is that it might, you know, it might explode or might burn. So, like bottom line, it's for the protection of your power system as well. So what I'm gonna do is, is just I'm gonna program it to the low voltage cutoff because I need to lower the low vo voltage cutoff, or let's say disable it for a few passes mm, for a few runs or let's I'll just set it to low so here are the steps so firstly when the EC switch off uh, turn on the transmitter so transmitter is turned on so there's a blue light there then please, uh, press the on off button while holding the set button to power the ESC we're gonna do that later red LED flashes so you ignore the red then proceed to the green LED flashes ones so if you release the set button when the LED flashes I mean when you release the set button after the green LED flashes ones you will go directly to this so let's say Green LED flash response, you go directly to this, this, that's the first item running mode. So then keep on pressing the set button. So the set button, the red LED flashes once, it means forward with brake. LED flashes twice, it means forward reverse with brake. So this is, I'm gonna, and so on, all this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the green, green LED flashes three times to enter the low voltage cutoff and set the appropriate or let's say the preference that I want okay okay so while holding the set button here I'm holding it now with my index finger I'm gonna press the power with my thumb do not release the set button that's a beep number one beep number two Beep number three, so we're going to the beep number three. Beep number four. Okay. So you heard the beeps, so we're gonna select the beep number three again. I'm gonna do it again. Let's hold the set button with my index finger and press the power button. So here is.
first green number two green number three release the set button okay i release the set button it means that we stop at green led flashes three times that's we have entered the low voltage cutoff currently you can hear one two three four one two three four that's four red flashes that means led flashes four times it's automatic high my low voltage cutoff is set to automatic high i'm going to set it to automatic low by pressing the set button just beat once it only beat once it means that I'm on disabled mode now I want to go to the automatic low so I'm gonna press the set button again I right, press the set button so that beeps twice now so twice means automatic low LED flashes twice it means automatic low so I'm happy with this so I'm not gonna set it any further automatic low so I'm just gonna turn off the power so now it's turned off the next time I turn it on the LVC is on automatic low voltage cutoff okay that means that I'm currently having my um, LVC set on the lowest possible so automatic low is around 3 point I guess it's 3.1 volts or something that's really low and normally it should be around 3.8 volts or 3.7 for the battery to not be damaged so you can keep on running until you reach the 3.1 or 3.2 volts cutoff and by the time the battery reaches that level the ESC will turn off that's all uh, just to protect the battery to be damaged more further or let's say so I'm setting it to low I'm setting it to low because I'm going to do speed runs so during speed runs uh, there is really a high amount of current draw or the amp draw so it's gonna like deplete I mean, it, the ESC will detect much depletion, or let's say, detect low uh, battery power. So the thing the ESC does is it shuts down, even though the battery is still good. So that's the effect. So to this low level here, the, so no matter how the uh, the motor draws amps or current from the battery, it won't reach the voltage as low as 3.1 volts so that's why I set it to low okay so I don't know if I am able to explain it properly but I did my best so I hope to learn something